Hi, I'm Drew. I am Marina. And we're on our rooftop hive here in Capitol Hill uh, in Washington, D.C. And here's our Flow Super crawling with bees. So I come from a technical profession. I've uh, largely been an engineer and software developer most of my life, and I currently work with NASA doing uh, support for Earth science missions. You know, I never even considered doing bees until I saw the flow hive and go, that I can do. Probably the bigger challenge for us has been uh, getting things up on the roof and then uh, you've seen the, the opening that we have to go through up there. So it's, you know, it's a little bit of a gymnastics exercise every time you go up. Um, but you know, it, that's, it's also the fun part of it. <gasps> wow! Right there, you see the liquid? And there, there. Actually, there's more here on this one than on this one. We hadn't seen that before. No, no. After hearing, uh, you know, the, the trials and tribulations of having to do extraction and having or borrowing equipment and being uh, in an environment where space is somewhat limited. Here in the city, you just don't have storage for a lot of things. So um, it was one of, the, uh, one of the elegant parts of the flow hive that really appealed to me. And we have got a ton of nectar in here. Oh my goodness, look there. Completely unexpected. Came up two days ago and had very little, except uh, the bees were actively filling the, the gaps with wax. And now we have a ton of nectar being deposited. The articles that we initially saw about the flow hive really appealed to my engineering sensibilities, first of all, uh, but it led into a rapid amount of learning about bees themselves. And uh, I think like many, many beekeepers or aspiring beekeepers you put you know a toe in and all of a sudden you're you're waist deep and you're going where am i going to put the next hive it's truly addictive so our current apiary uh, we have two colonies presently one is a uh, more traditional setup the other hive that we have the flow super sitting on presently um, came out of the shenandoah mountains uh, a couple of hours uh, south of here and they're you know pure italian uh, mountain bred bees and uh, they've been really aggressive foragers. The moment that we uh, we put them on the roof, they've just gone right at it. That's all honey. Oh my goodness. Look at that. We had never seen that before. Look at that, look at that. They've been busy. They've been very busy. A advice that I would give to new beekeepers, uh, don't be intimidated by it. Everything that I read about, for instance, in doing your first inspections is like, oh my God, you know, I've got to put my hands in your bees. And it was one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life was pull out the first frame, crawling with bees. And you just go, why didn't I do this 20 years ago? So just do it. Learn about uh, the regulations in your area. Find yourself somebody that can answer your questions. Read a lot, but don't be intimidated by it because it's guaranteed one of the coolest things you'll ever, ever do. It's, it's really, really fun. It's so exciting seeing the Flow Hive community all around the world having fun looking after their bees. We're going to be launching a new episode each week, so if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button below.